Howdy. Welcome back to NC State Dendrology coming to you today from Swift Creek Bluffs. This is a really tiny 23 acre Triangle Land Conservancy owned property um, in the Triangle of North Carolina. And the tree that I'm here with today is a fabulous shagbark hickory, Caria oveda. So oveda means ovate. Remember if you remember our leaves and leaf shapes, um, ovate means egg shaped. Um, and this is a really important tree species for wildlife value. Now we've learned some other hickories, so you probably remember that the um, leaves are compound, right? And so when you're looking at compound leaves, these have very large compound leaves. So you'll notice if you count, right, here's the leaf base down where my hand is. You'll see that Caria obeta has leaflets, has usually five leaflets per leaf, and they're quite large. So the other hickory that is common in our floor with five leaflets is pignut hickory, Caria glabra. Um, but these leaflets are really a whole lot larger. Um, and the rachis can be a little bit on the fuzzy side, but not as fuzzy as macronut hickory, which anyway has leaves and sevens. So very large leaflets, usually in fives. Um, another thing to look for is the fruit. So shagbark hickory has a very thick um, husk. It's a nut type fruit. And um, you'll see, remember when we looked at um, macronut hickory, macronut hickory is up to, is fairly thick, up to about a quarter of an inch. Shagbark hickory has nuts with husks that are greater than a quarter inch. So it's a very small nut that's inside. Um, but when you find the large ones on the ground, they're actually quite large. So this tree is really easy to identify when it's large and mature because it has this absolutely fabulous shaggy bark. I'm gonna pan up the tree just a little bit uh, so you can see just how shagalicious it is. Um, and in fact, this is a really cool um, wildlife value. Um, so shag bark hickory, right? This is where the camel name comes from, is from the shaggy bark where it has these vertical plates that shag up, they, it shags off vertically. So sometimes people will mix this up with Quercus alba, um, but Quercus alba has plates that kind of open on the sides where shag, shag bark has got um, these pieces that hang off and actually come out from the trunk. So, um, and that's an actual very cool, important wildlife value in summertime Often bats will roost in underneath the shags of a shagbark hickory, um, and that winter roost is called a summer hibernacula. It's a great word to take to cocktail parties. So this is Caria oveda, shagbark hickory in the Juglandaceae or the walnut family. And again, this is in the um, true Caria section, so it's in the Caria section with these very large nuts and very thick nut husks very shaggy bark and leaflets in fives. And this is NC State Dendrology.